Democritus was a Greek philosopher who was born in Abdera, Greece. He was born in 460 BC and it is thought that he died when he was 90 years old. Democritus is considered to be the father of modern science. His greatest influence was another Greek philosopher named Leucippus. Democritus was his pupil and successor. Democritus was an atomist. He was also a determinist. Atomism is the belief that the natural world consists of two indivisible bodies. These two things are atoms and void. Atomism comes from the Greek word atomos, which literally means uncuttable. Democritus has a theory that everything was composed of atoms and that atoms are not divisible. He believed that in between the atoms there was an empty space and also that there were an infinite number of atoms, kinds of atoms, shapes of atoms, sizes of atoms, and motions of atoms. Perhaps we recognize these qualities. Primary qualities? Atoms are colorless and tasteless. Do we recognize these? Secondary qualities. Although Lucifer was the first to receive and to be acknowledged for the theory of atomism, he was the first to develop it. Democritus is very well known for it as well due to his elaboration. Democritus projected a view on the shape and connectivity of atoms. He stated that solidness connected the shape of atoms. One example of this is the salt atom. He states that because of their taste, they are sharp and pointy. As for the void hypothesis, this comes about as a response to Parmenides. Parmenides stated that any movement requires a void, but void is nothing. Therefore, a nothing cannot exist. Democritus ignored this idea because he knew that wherever there was matter, there was something that something was light waves. Now let's take a look at his example of his theory of atomism. A person perhaps may feel hot or cold, but hot and cold really have no existence. They are just sensations produced in organisms. As for Democritus and his atomist view, these sensations are different packings and scatterings of the atoms in the void that compose the sense of hot or cold. All the packing and scatterings create how organisms feel, see, eat, hear, smell, and taste. Now back to determinism. As we all have become aware, as defined by our professor, determinism states that every event is caused by prior events such that the causal connection between any two events is always an instance of the universal law. Everything in the world is due to the mechanical relationships of atoms because of collision, binding, and entangling of the atoms. If we know the position, speed, and direction of a moving object at a given time, then there is only one state that a system of objects could be in at a later time. Induction 
Now, an atom has no choice of its movement, and if pushed, it moves because of its motivational force. Causality Is there an ultimate indivisible unit of matter? <laughs>